Hi, my name is Dr. Michael Kaspin, and I'm a physical therapist with Colorado Health Clinic. Today we're going to be talking about three exercises in order to help with lower back pain. The first we're going to be talking about is an isometric heel bridge. Then we're going to be talking about a child's pose and a regular squat. So the first exercise we're going to be doing is an isometric heel bridge. So you're going to want to lay down on your back, you're going to bend your knees, press through your heels, and lift up your hips. And here, I want you to hold it for one minute three times. You can take breaks between each minute. If you get cramping in your hamstrings, as some people do, you want to focus on pushing more through your heels or bring your legs back towards your butt a little bit more and try the exercise again. And you don't need to go all the way up. If you feel a little bit of discomfort going all the way up, just go just a little bit. The main focus is just bring your hips as a little bit off the table in order to activate your hips. You want to do that one time a day. Exercise number two for lower back pain, you're going to start on all fours, okay? And make sure you're doing it something where it doesn't hurt your knees, so something like a pillow or a couch or a bed, that all works as well. So in this position, you're going to slowly bring your hips back towards your heels, and you should be feeling a nice long stretch in this area right here. Okay, and you want to hold that for at least 45 seconds, three, four times, once a day. And then to get out of it, you just come back to normal and relax. So if any of this causes you pain, either in your low back, your knees, or your knees don't bend as well, just go as far as you can and try to focus on stretching this area out right here. And come back. Good. So exercise number three that we're going to be doing is a regular squat. So you're going to want to stand with your feet shoulder width apart and nice and easy. You're going to go down in the squat as far as you feel comfortable and up. And make sure that as you're going down that your knees do not go past your toes and you're pushing through your heels as you're going back up. For safety reasons, make sure that there's something behind you and in front of you in case you lose your balance and you grab on something to grab onto. Okay, and go down, go down as far as you feel comfortable where there's no pain, but you feel a nice, good burn in your legs and your hips. 